Hi, Steve with Brownells and Mike with Sons of Liberty Gunworks here, and today we want to talk about the A5 recoil system. M Mike, why don't you take that away? Yeah, so we use this on a lot of our guns. Uh, I think the A5 system is one of the few legitimate improvements to the carbine, right? Much in the same way that the mid-gas system helped with the front end of the gun, the uh, A5 system has kind of done that to the back end of the gun. I mean, you, the AR-15 is like an algebra problem, right? Where you do to one end, you kind of do to the other. And if you remember, you look at this rifle buffer here, you look at this rifle spring, um, all of the math and engineering of the, of the AR-15 was a 20-inch uh, barrel rifle gas system, rifle buffer system. That was a really smooth gun. I mean, you didn't need as much power in the extractor. They didn't have feed ramps. When you started making the gun more the shorter and you started making that cycle of operation more abrupt, yeah. right? You, that's when you started to need assistance in that extractor and you started to need, you know, some other mechanical changes in the gun. <clears throat> so again, this thing is kind of returning a little bit to the original engineering, if you will, with that rifle uh, length spring. It uses a slightly longer receiver extension than the carbine, okay? And it uses a slightly longer buffer than the carbine. What that allows us to do is to like as opposed to three individual weights in the carbine system, you have four weights in the A5. Okay. And that allows us to push more weight in the back of the gun because we're distributing it over more wire, okay? I like to use the heaviest buffer that I can back there to help manage carrier speed and also that's the mass return in that bolt to battery. And putting more weight back there typically makes the gun a little bit more forgiving to input, and by input in this application, I'm talking about suppressors, uh, hot ammo, so on and so forth. It kind of it's like auto tune for shitty singers, <laughs> you know. Okay. It's not a fine tune thing. It's just, it's like auto tune, and it, uh, it it just makes the gun a lot more forgiving. You said this wasn't exactly a new idea. No, not no, not really. Uh, so the Marine Corps wanted to keep their 20-inch rifle uppers because you know a lot of the ammunition that was uh, used is, is velocity dependent. So they wanted to keep that rifle right. upper, uh, that rifle length upper, and but they also wanted a retractable stock since you know, Marines come in different shapes and sizes, and so the A5 system was going to be used in that in that role. And the Marine Corps did a lot of testing on the A5, and, and if you can go out and find the white papers on there, this thing performed extremely well. We've adopted it. We use it again for carrier speed management to to put a lot of weight back there without over buffering. And on weapons that you're going to be using suppressed or unsuppressed, I mean, this thing is. Uh, I'd rather control carrier speed here with the buffer system than like adjustable gas blocks or stuff, you know, up okay. front, you know. So. So you've got a slightly longer extension. Slightly longer receiver. So extension. you don't want to drop that thing in a standard carbine extension, right? No, if you use an A5 buffer in a standard carbine uh, right, uh, so, uh, carbine extension, that carrier is not going to be able to travel far right. enough to the rear, you know, to, to pick up the next round of the mag. So you need to give it some room. Plus you're using, the whole beauty of it is that is that rifle spring that you're employing. A rifle, you know, a lot of folks don't know this, but I mean, a rifle spring is a different length than a carbine yeah. spring, you know? Uh, again, with more wire there, we can push that load and not over buffer. And the longer the spring, it seems like the smoother things go. That, that's just it. If you've ever shot a true 20 inch M16 or a true 20 inch uh, AR-15, that is a very smooth cycling gun. We didn't see uh, broken extractors. You didn't see a lot of the other uh, problems because like how smooth that gun is. Well, it has a lot to do with a rifle length gas system and a rifle buffer system. So if we can use some of that uh, and still keep the overall length of the gun manageable, you know, like we use this on SBRs, we use this on uh, long, you know, on, on rifles. Um, it's just really versatile. You can use it on pretty much anything. And I believe it's one of the few legitimate improvements we've seen. Man, that is really slick. It is So cool. you get long gun performance in a shorter platform. Yeah, I mean, what's interesting is that the the felt recoil is reduced, but that's kind of a byproduct. That was never the intention of it, okay? Uh, that's kind of a byproduct. The intention was to make it a more mechanically uh, forgiving and opening up the operational envelope. Um, but as a result, you also get some, you know, a little bit softer recoil. Right. I mean, if you ever shot a rifle and a carbine side by side, you know, just a standard carbine, it's a little punchier than a rifle is. It's just more abrupt. Yeah. yeah. You know, so. 
And along with, uh, you know, adding a mid-length tube to a carbine barrel, stuff like that. Absolutely. Just kind of smooths things out, elongates the, the cycle. Yeah, you're getting back to like the original engineering of the gun, right? When you're lengthening that tube out and you're lengthening that buffer system out and it kind of, yeah. So again, I, I, I think it's, if you're shooting suppressed and unsuppressed, if you're using different length uppers and gas systems on your receiver and you want something that's going to handle no matter what you throw at it, the A5 system really is something to look into. Wow, and it's been around for longer than we knew about. Oh yeah, it, I mean, in the last couple of years, you know, Veltor is yeah. who, who's, who's making it now, but I mean, a lot of companies have adopted, uh, have adopted, they call it the intermediate system. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, it's solid. I, we can, yeah. yeah. What more could you want? An actual <laughs> improvement to your AR it makes it shoot smoother. When you shoot smoother, things work better, things don't break, at least not nearly as often. No, yeah. <laughs> your extractor will thank you. <laughs> Mike, thanks for explaining that to me. Thank uh, you. I had never delved into that that far, so that really clears up a lot of points. Thank you for watching. If you have a comment, please leave it below and hit that subscribe button and that like button if you would. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.